welcome to the session 5 of module 4 <coughs> in this session we are going to discuss about tiny os and its components handlers tasks split phase programming and structuring the commands into interfaces <coughs> So here we can take the case study of embedded OS, tiny OS. It has been developed by UC Berkeley as a runtime environment for their modes. Programming language that is used is NESC and Cool is small memory footprint. It's going to leave small memory footprint. And for that sacrifice has been made in ease of use and for portability. But for the newer version, portability somewhat improved. Here the most important design aspects are it is component based system. Components that are interacted by exchanging asynchronous events. Components that will form a program by wiring them together. Here we can see the components, tiny OS components. Frame, command handlers, event handlers, tasks. Frame is to get the state information. Tasks for normal execution of programs command handler that will handle the commands event handler that will handle the events so these command handlers and event handlers those will run to completion that will form a components interface and it will understand and emits commands and events and it has been hierarchically arranged Events that will pass upward from hardware to higher level components. Commands in reverse are passed from upward to higher level to lower level. Or commands are passed downwards. This is for initialization. Start, stop, fire. So this is an example. Okay and uh, if this event that has been occurred so what is the command has to be given to initiate this tiny OS components to start or to stop and to setting the rate so we can see handlers versus tasks command handlers and events must run to completion and uh, command handlers and events must not wait an intermediate amount of time further only a request to perform some action tasks on the other hand can perform arbitrarily but takes long computation also have to be run to completion tasks since no non-cooperative multitasking is implemented here but uh, tasks that can be interrupted by handlers here it is not necessary to use start management tasks are atomic with respect to each other split phase programming handler or task characteristics and the separation has consequences on programming model the question is how to implement a blocking call to another component. We will take an example. Order another component to send a packet. Blocking function calls are not an option. Uh, in split phase programming, there will be two phases. In the first phase, issue the command to another component. By that, Receiving command handler will only receive the command, post it to a task for actual execution and returns immediately. 
Returning from a command invocation does not mean that the command has been executed. Second phase is it will be invoked component notifies invoker by event that command has been executed. Consequences is for example for buffer handling buffer can be only free when completion of event that is received. Structuring commands are events into interfaces. We can use many commands and we can uh, use many events that we learn. So we have the programming solution NESC. Structure corresponding commands events. Commands are events into interface types. Example structure timer uh, into three interfaces. So here we have used the timer component. So we have three interfaces. One is the standard control, and another is the timer, and another is the clock. This uh, initialization, start, stop, and uh, triggering event. These are inputs, and fired and set clock are the set rate. So those are the outputs. So we can build configuration by wiring together corresponding interfaces. The thing is, we can use many commands or many events. This is the reference I have used. Thank you.